Uh, diabetes is one of the uh, commonest reasons for kidney disease. Especially if the diabetes is going to be of long duration. If the diabetes has affected other organs, especially the eye, then kidney disease is very common. It is not going to happen in within few years of uh, diabetes. Generally, it takes at least 5 to 10 years for the diabetes to start affecting the kidney. In the early stages, we start leaking large quantities of albumin in the urine. Normally, the amount of albumin we leak is about 30 milligrams. In diabetes, it starts increasing more than 30 milligrams. That is called as a microalbuminuria. And as the control of diabetes is not going to be proper, larger quantities of albumin will get excreted in the urine and subsequently the kidney starts failing. The blood urea content and creatinine content will start increasing. In the early stage itself, if a diabetic person is going to control his blood sugar properly and take certain protective medications, but what we call it as an AC inhibitors or receptor blocker drugs, the kidneys can be protected. And unfortunately, if the patient slips into a diabetic nephropathy where the kidney starts getting affected by diabetes, intake of these medicines will slow the progression of the disease and unfortunately, if any diabetic person gets into a kidney failure stage, it can definitely be treated. These medicines also slow the progression of kidney disease and even if somebody reaches an advanced kidney failure, they can be safely treated either by dialysis or by doing a kidney transplantation. What we want all the diabetic patients to do is, is they all should ensure that the diabetic control is proper. They should meet the diabetologist very regularly and ensure that all other organs including kidneys, the eyes, the nerves and the heart is taken care of periodically so that they will not slip into any end organ damage because of their long standing diabetes.